so this is the second time editing this video i did this video on friday uh it was supposed to upload it on friday as you know i always try to upload a retouch video on friday or a behind the scene video on fridays but the mouse pointer wasn't even showing and i had no idea until i start to edit the video in premiere pro i noticed um the pointer wasn't showing so today is monday and today is when i'm uploading a new video <laughs> hello everyone photographer andre designs here with a new retouch video all right so today i'll be retouching a photographer's um photograph this photographer is a portuguese photographer he his name is tails hen um yeah he's from portuguese this image i got this image from retouch academy's website um they give you like um, images for you to practice on like when you download like when you purchase the temp uh, the panel here you can practice using some of the images you just have to ensure that you um, give credit to the photographers on whoever you should give uh, credits to so today I'm gonna be editing this image here and I'm gonna put links in the description for the photographers website and also the website for you to download this image that you can edit with me all right so let's get right to it all right so this image was taken with the nikon d uh, not nikon sorry canon um 5d mark III. he was using the 24 to 105 lens that's a canon lens he was shooting at 7.1 and you see all the information there all right so normally i would make some adjustment in camera raw but i'm not going to use this camera raw i'm going to make a duplicate of this image and use camera raw inside of photoshop well, it's the same thing, but um, I, I want to have this image here as well. So I'm just going to open it. And the first thing I'm going to do is to duplicate it. So it's going to be um, Control J to duplicate it. Then I'm going to press Control Shift A to get the camera raw. And then if you notice, the image looks a bit orange. So we're going to use the temperature right here and pull it up a little bit. So pulling a little blue in the image uh, that should be good um, for the highlights I was gonna play with the highlights a little bit uh, let's see what it looks like up here all right, right here should be good all right so I'm gonna press ok so what I have here is the before and after so that's what I wanted I wanted to show the before and after because if I made the adjustment in camera raw I wouldn't be able to see this one the original all right so a few of my subscribers actually wanted to see me using the retouching academy's panel which is this panel right here um to make edits to some of my images uh you don't necessarily have to purchase this um panel because you can use these um uh, actions as well because the panel is just here for you to work faster um today i will be only using a few of these options here so because i've only i only use a few of these options when i'm doing my edits and i mainly use the actions that i've created over here all right so i'm gonna put a link in the description for you to purchase this um uh action panel if you wish to to get it all right so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go with the frequent separation 16 bit right here all right i always edit the radius at 10 um so all right, good so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the low frequency layer and then I'm gonna press s on the keyboard for the clone uh, no not the clone stamp I should go to B for the um, mixer brush all right so that's the mixer brush mixer brush is at 2% everything else remains the same and ensure that you click this option right here uh, this option basically clears the brush so if there's any color right here it should clear it once you hit that all right so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna paint on the uh, models skin basically we're flattening the image all right remember when you're mixing and I said this in all my videos when you're mixing you stay in the lighted area when you're mixing the dark area you stay in the dark area all right mixing the image is basically flattening the image and then once it's flattened you can easily edit any blemishes acne on the skin all right and it also smooths the skin out as well but it still maintain the 
original skin texture of the model skin all right so mixing is just flatten the image and it makes it easier for you to edit and it looks realistic when you're editing using the mixer brush when you're doing frequency separation all right so i'm just getting rid of all of these um so for example the bag under the, the model's eye once you mix it out it becomes flat so you don't see the bag anymore or it com it becomes fainted so you can actually not fainted faded <laughs> Uh, and you can actually um, make additional um, adjustment to it by using whether the mix, whether the um, healing brush tool or the patch tool, whatever works best for you. All right. So I'm doing here as well. Let's look at it before and after. Before, after. Good. Don't worry about flattening the image because if you flatten the image, you still you can get back the dimension by doing dodge and burn and we're gonna do dodge and burn next well after I, I remove the blemishes from skin if there are any alright um, that looks good so far we'll come down here this might be the only video I will be using the panel or I might just do another one with a white model so let's see all right so that looks good right there right here need a little bit blending yeah sometimes though when you when you make some adjustment and it, it doesn't look um, flat it well not flat it doesn't come together the skin doesn't come together you can actually use a mixer brush to blend it out as well i'm gonna go down to the color bone here right here as well i'm using the x pen that's the that's the tablet i'm using to edit this image i'm gonna try not to have a long video you know i have some behind the scene i need to um edit I did a behind the scene recently of a wedding, actually two weddings, and I haven't edited them yet. I want to release those as well, because I'm sure a lot of you would love to see me do behind the scenes for um, a wedding. So, all right, let's look at the before and after now. Before, after, before, after, good. So it's coming along greatly. All right, here, we're going to the eyes. If you notice, I'm basically rushing, but please, guys, I've, I've said this in all my videos. Do not rush when you're making edit. Take your time uh, because you will make mistakes. All right, this looks okay. And there are sometimes when you're making edits, it's best to make an edit and then move away from your computer and come back to it. And then you might find some things that you need to correct or remove. Well, same thing correct remove all right so I'm going to I think I'm okay with the mixing so far let's look at the before and the after and let's look at the before with the with the um orange image and the after good so the next step now is to go to my high frequency layer I'm gonna press s on the keyboard for the clone stamp which is right here and then I'm gonna zoom up on the image and I'm gonna find all the little things that I need to remove. I'm going to use bracket on the keyboard to um, lower, well, to get the brush smaller. I'm going to hold on on control and sample the area I, I wish to um, use and then I'm just going to paint. So I'm re removing the hair from the model's face. Alright, let's look at the before and after for that. Before, after. Good. I'm not going to move a lot because you want the image to look natural as possible. And if you notice, you can still see the detail in, the, in the, um, the skin of the model, right? So that's the reason why it's best for you to use the mixer brush when you're making edits, when you're doing frequency separation. All right, that looks good. Right here as well. 
I I didn't see anything on the website that talks about the the makeup artist for the model. Not sure if she did her own makeup or there was a makeup artist there. But I would love to give credit to that makeup artist as well, and even for the model. But there's no um, social media link for the model, just for the um, photographer. So I can only give credit to the photographer. All right, this looks good so far. It's always good to zoom in and um, you know get rid of blemishes, acne, and stuff like that. Her eyes looks good though. I don't really need to do anything with them. Um, yeah, I think that's good so far. Uh, let me come down here. So basically, I'm holding down on um, the space bar, and then I'm just clicking on moving. All right. That's a beauty spot. Not gonna remove it. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I don't think I need to do anything more. Let me just oh, right here, right here. All right, so I'm just gonna zoom back out. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do now is dodge and burn. So I'm gonna um, come over here to the dodge. So I'm gonna work with the dark area, and the dodging is basically contouring as well and normally when you flatten the image you want to get back the shape of the face so you have to use dodge and burn to um, get back the shape of the face so I'm gonna press B on the keyboard for the brush but if you notice it's still on the mixer brush so you can hold on on shift and press B until you get the brush that you want to use or you could just come over here and click on brush alright so I'm gonna work in the dark area I'm going to put this at 1% and then I'm just gonna do this if you are doing that and you notice that nothing is happening just ensure that this foreground here is white so if you're working on black ensure if it's white if it's if it's white ensure that this is black right here is black and you can change it by using the um, the X key on your keyboard and you could get it to the default color by pressing D on the keyboard all right good so let's look at the before and after so far so that's what I did so far good just gonna so all the areas that uh, we didn't have any light hitting those are the areas I'm actually dodging and it's always good to follow what the makeup artist did so you can have a better shape of the face as the makeup helps to shape the face as well and the dodge and burning which is the contour and highlighting um, help to shape the face so oh you know what I was just doing a lot of um, shaping and nothing was happening <laughs> alright let me do it now I didn't notice that um, this was black which it shouldn't be black so now I'm seeing the effect uh, let's look at it before and after now before after before after you don't want to add a lot because you want your image to look as natural as possible so yeah I'm gonna come down on the color bone here so right there is a little bit dark so I'm just gonna highlight it alright that looks good so I'm gonna do oh I'm gonna work on the here as well right, that looks good under the lip just darken it a little bit so it, the lips will look full or the bottom lip should look full all right so i'm going to come up here to the dodge now so as you see the same procedure of using these um actions that i've created and you can download them by using the link in the description all right so still at one percent for the flow and white and then i'm just going to highlight some of the image if you notice here is already highlighted so you don't really have to do much so I'm just gonna come under here and highlight here a little bit right here come right here as well then go under the and then go to the chin and then right here I'm using bracket on the keyboard to get it smaller to get it bigger you use the um what's this the right bracket and to get it small use the left bracket um, there's not much I need to do with the highlighting here let's look at the before and after for the highlighting I didn't do a 
didn't do much um, the forehead is highlighted already here could do a little bit of highlighting here as well not a lot all right that looks good so far let's look at the before and after now before after see what we're coming from before after and before the dodge and burn yeah so that's it basically all right so the next step now is to i think i still see some more orange color in here i'm gonna see if i can get rid of that a little bit more so i'm just gonna hold on and control shift alt e to create a new layer and then control j to create a new layer again and then well to duplicate the layer and then i'm gonna go to control shift a for camera raw and it looks a little bit orange to me still so i'm just gonna see if i can make some more adjustment to the orange um uh, let me go over here to see if uh, right here the hsl adjustment and see if i can play with the orange a little bit uh that looks that looks okay let me just okay yeah that looks good i'm not seeing the orange anymore um okay so the next step now is to color the image so i'm going to come down here to the adjustment layer and i'm going to go to hmm, color balance all right after going to color balance i'm going to go to the tones and go to shadows and then i'm going to play with the yellow and blue um, channel here i'm going to put it at five uh five looks good uh, i think i want to warm up the image a little bit more so I may go back down to the adjustment layer and go to vibrant and then bring up my vibrance a little bit to about right there. That looks good. Let me put this in a in a group. To put it in a group, let me undo that. Uh, you highlight both of them by holding down on control and then press G and that puts it in a group all right so let's look at the before and after so that looks good all right one more thing now i'm going to go back down to this layer here and then i'm going to go back to the camera uh, actually yeah no i'm not going to go back to camera raw. what i'm going to do i'm going to come back here because what i want to do right now is to i want to put some um i want the hair to look a little bit more rich because right now it looks dry so i'm going to go back down to the adjustment layer and then i'm going to go to Hmm, brightness and contrast and I'm gonna play with the contrast a little bit uh, about right there should be good and then I'm gonna press uh, control I to invert it and then ensure that this is white because you're painting on black and I get back my brush I'm gonna put my brush at a hundred percent and I'm gonna paint the hair of the model So it looks rich. All right, that looks good. Let's look at the before and after now. Before, after, before, after. Good. All right, so I think that is it for the image. I'm going to add some more contrast to the image, though, to the model's face. I'm going to bring this up a little bit to about, right, to about uh, 10. Before and after. 10 works perfect. All right, so thank you guys for watching this quick um, retouch video using the Retouching Academy's panel, even though I did not use most of the options on the panel. Uh, I just think it's not a need for you to get the panel, but the panel is really good because I've been using it for a very long time. But since I've created my own actions, I stopped using the panel. So it's just in the Photoshop thing right here, and I don't use it. All right. So if you like this video, hit like, um, ensure that you subscribe. Thank you for 1,000 subscribers. I think I'm at 1,020 subscribers now. And I'm seeing a difference in my views as well. Uh, my last video, uh, well, my last video was the um, behind the scene um, of a photo shoot I did recently. And that, had, that actually have 700 views. And the one before that has 1,000 something views. So thank you guys for the views and the likes and the shares and all those good stuff. Continue watching. I'll be having uh, more videos coming soon. 
and remember to hit the notification bell once you subscribe so you can be notified once i uh, upload a new video thank you guys for watching again and follow me on instagram at andre designs and stay tuned for more videos bye bye